it seems that a lot of people are really disappointed with the award shows thus far. In some respects, I kind of understand, but at the same time, what were you expecting? I mean, with 21 out of the game, this is the best you're gonna get. Hi, welcome! So today's video is super exciting because I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts on the performances from MMA and MAMA aka the Melon Music Awards and the Mnet Asian Music Awards. Please keep in mind that I won't be talking about every single performance because there are a lot of them and also I don't stand every single person who has performed. I'm also going to be sharing my brutally honest thoughts about some of your faves performances and they might not align with your own personal views. So let's start off with BTS. Actually, I'm going to stop you right there to remind you to subscribe to this channel, click the bell to be notified, and you can also do little things here and there to help sustain this channel, like asking me why I pronounce rosé like that, or sharing my videos with people that you can hate them with. This is what I appreciate about BTS, is that they give me second-gen vibes in the context of a performance, meaning that you can hear them live, you can hear their voices live. Because if you watch a lot of second-gen performances, you can hear them breathing, you can hear them struggle, and it's so beautiful. And it's something that's ultimately lost in a lot of third-gen groups. And I don't think it's their fault, I don't think these people train for years and years at a time to not be talented. I do think they are talented, but I think either their companies or these music shows just demand absolute perfection, so then they have these very loud backup vocals, so that any possible mistake is hidden. And it's a real shame, but I digress. The BTS do bring forth a lot of energy, and it's something I appreciate. I appreciate hearing a struggle. And maybe struggle's not the right word, maybe rawness is a better word, but I do want to paint a little bit of a picture for you. So, if someone is singing and dancing, that is inevitably really hard to do. And if you can't hear someone's breath or you can't hear at least a little bit of a struggle, it's probably because they aren't singing live. And it's not about whether or not you're good at your job, it's just about being human. I mean, inevitably, movement affects your voice. It's just science, don't at me. I'm just someone who really values energy and I value the rawness of a performance over anything else. And I have to say, Jungkook's little solo part was my absolute favorite. I loved the element of water. And this is something that's used a lot in K-pop music videos. But this particular use of water was different. And he basically just swam in it, which was a mood. And then of course, Jimin's little solo part as well was absolutely stunning. But then suddenly they brought horses on stage, which is a huge no-no to me. There is no context in which the stage actually needed horses, but I was like, go off, I guess. <laughs> Pull a YG, I guess. And finally, the last aspect that I absolutely fell in love with was the table choreography. I thought that was very clever. As for the Dionysus performance, or however the fuck you pronounce that, on Mama, I was a bit underwhelmed, and I can't really use Mnet footage without going to copyright hell, but their energy was great, don't get me wrong. It was just that it almost seemed like I couldn't really hear their voices, or there was some type of filter for their voices, yet I could constantly hear the pop sounds in their mics from plosive consonants or something like that. I haven't studied linguistics in a while, but for example, if I do like a so I have a pop filter to kind of prevent that, but for them, like, that's all I could hear, and yet I couldn't really hear their voices that well, which was really weird, but then for Boy In Love and the other performances where they had their own microphones, it was a lot better. Moving on to Itzy's performance. So, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting a lot. I was kind of expecting another, you know, music show type performance, and I'm sorry, I just have very... <laughs> It's not that I have low expectations, it's just I have a certain type of expectations for like, I want to call them pre-fourth gen groups. I don't believe there's a fourth gen yet. I don't believe in it. I still think 2012 is second gen. Argue with me in the comments. But I ended up really vibing with this performance. I really love the marching band theme. I love their gold outfits. And you could hear a bit of a struggle. You could hear their voices. And again, it doesn't mean that they're bad at their job. It just means they are humans who are singing and dancing. It just means that, like, I believe in the performance. You know, if your performance sounds so flawless, you know, it... it <laughs> I'm not interested in perfection. I have zero interest in that. I want to know and be reassured that what I'm seeing is real. 
However, in contrast, their mama performance, the schoolgirl outfits, I blame twice. So now we're going to talk about Mama Moo. So everyone was really angry at Melon for mistreating them. They gave them the least amount of time to perform. They allegedly like sped up their performance, which I totally believe because it really felt like they sped it up. Like they literally <laughs> just sped up the music. It didn't feel very... It just felt very off. And then at the beginning, it almost seemed like they were trying to spell out Stupid Melon, but they just, like, they just placed a few of the dancers wrong so it wasn't too, like, explicit, I guess. I don't know. And then when Hwasa was singing Twit at the end, it said PD. That was allegedly shade. <laughs> Overall, the performance did feel a bit uncomfortable. There were times when they looked visibly upset, but then they would do, like, a 180 and just, like, vibe with the music like they didn't care. It was very interesting. Like, I'm totally here for the shade. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but then in contrast, their mama performance was a lot more energetic. It felt like it was a lot more mama moo, you know what I mean? To me, it seems like they just have such amazing stage presence and they make everything look so effortless. So, however, some of the outfits were... Mm. Though there was no denim, there was a lot of plastic, which it was surprising to me that there was no foggy areas. But, I mean, cool. Moonpyeol and Huyen's outfits were really nice and they fit together really well. However, something was off about Solar's outfit. So, <laughs> to me, her hair really threw everything off because it was supposed to be, you know, half yellow, half black. But then her hair was kind of off yellow, which just threw everything off. I think had her hair just been completely black, it would have looked a lot nicer. But then Hwasa had like green and purple and a lot of plastic and <laughs> to me it just really didn't match anything. Like the cohesiveness just went out the window. The only downfall is that you couldn't really hear their voices that clearly. However, they kind of balanced it out and made up for it by having incredible stage presence. Then we have Twice. I don't know what to say because I don't really want to offend anyone. I was just personally underwhelmed at the performance the energy was just it just wasn't there for me and given the fact that this is an award show i was just expecting more i feel like twice deserves something a lot more extravagant like for example in the beginning of feel special it was actually kind of exciting i mean i loved the way they evoked the music video and the way they switched from one part to another it was dynamic so imagine how cool the entirety of the performance could have been if they played off those scenes a little bit more, if they added, you know, new choreography to those scenes, if they had stair choreography, if they had umbrella choreography, if they played off that mirror type thing with the two members just a little bit more. It would have made the performance feel that much more special. However, for me, again, it felt more or less like a music show performance and I couldn't really hear anyone's voices except for Nayeon and Nana's. Nana, oh my god, <laughs> this is an after school. We are going to move on to TXT. They made it look like they were underwater. It was really cool and the way they used the weight of their bodies to pull each other and create shapes. It was a really fascinating experience. However, on the live performance side of things, I felt a little bit underwhelmed. They prepared such amazing before and after artistic performances, but then, you know, in the grand art of the stage, they really felt very small. The performance felt very small. It felt no different than watching them on a music show, especially since we couldn't really hear their voices live. And that's a bit of a pet peeve of mine because if you can't hear the live voices, then I really expect a lot from your dancing. I expect a lot from, you know, the whole visual aspect of it. So then we have ATs, okay? And originally I wasn't going to watch the performance because I was like, I mean, I don't really care. But then I was like, okay, I'm going to go see if I can at least roast their outfits. Like, I don't really want to, like, watch their whole performance. But then I realized I didn't care about their outfits either. But by that time, I was so amazed by the performance that i watched the whole damn thing i wasn't expecting them to cover blood sweat and tears and then goodbye baby the energy was top notch and when i say second gen vibes i mean jesus christ they did not need to go that hard but they did and i'm honestly questioning why i don't stand ats so yeah, that's all I had to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Click that bell to be notified. Comment shout out goes to this lovely individual.